Right, welcome back to a brand new section. And in this section, we're going to talk about null safety in Dart. So with uh, Dart 2.12 came null safety as a default. And uh, we'll need to look at null safety. Null safety is actually not a bad thing. It's actually helping you and creating safe programs without running into that null pointer exception that we uh, normally get in all these programming languages. So I'm going to close this window and let's go to Dartpad. And at the bottom, you'll see there's this little switch that says null safety on or off. And I find that uh, even if null safety is off, at compile time, it still gives me an error. For example, if I say, let me just refresh this one quickly uh, so that we are at null safety or not null safety. And if I say integer x equals uh, null there, uh, previously it should have not given me an error here uh, because of null safety not being en enabled. Uh, but uh, it seems that even in compile time, null safety is enabled. But uh, basically pushing this switch will make sure that even if you run it, it will then give you um, the null safety in the runtime also. So you'll see at the top where I declared integer x equals null. It now gives me a problem and say, you cannot assign a value of null. And I don't think really we want to do that ever to get to a place where we want to assign something as null. Because null basically says there's no value at all stored in it. So we could have done the same thing. We could have just said integer x there. And integer x will do exactly the same thing. It will create an x variable with a value of null. So if we print out x now, you will see it gives me a problem there. And it says the non-nullable local variable x must be assigned before it can be used. So what does non-nullable now mean and what does nullable mean? Uh, try giving an initializer expression or ensure that, the si that it's assigned on every execution path. So what is nullable and non-nullable? Now, because I'm not giving x a value here at all, if I actually were allowed to print it out, it will print out the null value for me. So in this case, declaring a variable like this means the variable is not nullable or non-nullable, which means it should not be able to contain the value null. So if I go and say x equals 3 now, and I and I look at my coding now, now the compiler is fine with it. And if I run it, it will say x equals 3. But without assigning this value, this is where the null safety now comes in. It will pick up that this value will not contain a value, or this variable will not contain a value, and it will warn me against it. So if I really wanted to have this x as a null value, I could just place the question mark there, which makes this x now. Now look at the difference. Take away that, click on x, and you'll see it's just a normal int x. But if I place the question mark there, you will see that if I click on x now, it's got an int question mark, which means this value is able to hold the value of null. And if I run it now, you will see if I print out x, it's actually going to tell me null there. So now this one with the question mark, this x with the question mark, or the int declaration with the question mark, just basically tells us x are able to hold the value of null before it was not allowed. So if I just say int x, x cannot contain the value null. And that's where null safety for Dart comes in. Right, so for now, let's just make that a question mark and we can see it prints out the null value. Let's try something else. Let's declare a variable int y go down and we say y should be the value of 20 minus the value of x now previously this was allowed now x is fine with it being null there's no problem because it's now nullable but if i try to take 20 and deduct that value that can actually contain a null then i'll also get a problem so it says the the argument of type int can't be assigned to the parameter of type num. Now, see, it's not a normal int. It's an int with a question mark, which means it's nullable, cannot be assigned to something that's non-nullable. So now in order for me to fix this expression, we could do something like the following. We could use an if statement to handle this. So I could say, if the x value is equal to null, then we will print out, or let, yeah, let's just say print, uh, the value 
of x does not exist and the else y equals 20 minus x which means that if x contains null we will not use it to actually do this calculation but if the value is not equal to null we can do the calculation and you can see the compiler is totally okay with this which means that somewhere down the line I could go and say x there should be 3 there and if I run it now okay we can see it prints out 3 because it's only printing out the x there so here we are assigning the y value but uh, right at the start actually nothing gets assigned so maybe here we can say y equals a 0 there so if the value of x doesn't exist we will keep y as 0 and then we can print out uh, the value of y here now let's run this quickly again so we can see now that this if statement works if x is equal to null then we will print out the value of x does not exist but x is currently 3 so it will be 20 minus 3 and then we get that but if we remove that statement will everything still work okay so if we run it now you'll see everything will still work it will print out the value of x does not exist and it will also give me the value of y there but if I leave out that statement for example you will see that it has a problem printing out y because if x is null if x is equal to null then y will not have a value which means y could have the special value null and it's not allowed because y is not being declared as as nullable so you need to have a clear look at your application and decide what you want to do in order to get past this null safety and have your programs actually running quite well so null safety is not there to confuse us it's not there to actually uh, make it difficult for us it's there to make sure that we create good programs and we actually need to think of every step we're taking in order to have our program error free right so this was a quick video to just explain what is the difference between a nullable variable that's one with a question mark declared as a question mark type and non-nullable which means it's just declared without the question mark now um, just one thing else uh, if we assign the three year again you will see that it tells you here um, the operand can't be null so the condition is always false why can't it be null because we're assigning three so x will never be null but remember that we could get this maybe using the read line sync and which means that that x could be null or it could be anything anything else so in this case it will give us an error there or not an error just some info there that we can actually leave out this if statement totally because x can never be null because x is 3 so just remember this uh, this could be helpful to test for null where you get values where you do not know the value obviously if you assign it a specific value then it's no need to test it for null and it won't even give you an error then later on when you try to print it out like here because uh, it cannot can never be null even if I remove that part there it will not give me an error there because it can never be null but if it's something that can be null then we'll need to add the question mark there to make sure that we handle that error thanks for watching this video see you in the next one